Coach Prime and Colorado have started spring practice. Coach Prime has said he's coming. You're going to have to deal with him when the games get here. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in the future. Like there's a ton to break down as they actually get into padded practices and more scrimmages and what Shador Sanders is going to be. We'll talk about Colorado, believe you me. But I want to talk about Coach Prime's coaching style. Because college football, really life in general, is about your process. It's about what are you doing that you can control. Con control the controllables is what you hear coaches say a lot. What are the controllables that Coach Prime is honing in on? Because there's a video that's circulating Twitter, the Twitter sphere, if you will, where Coach Prime walks into a lift and he sees one of his players wearing the wrong kind of socks, throws him out of the lift. And there's a, there's a reputation for Coach Prime that some people believe he just does it for the cameras. He just is operating a certain way to have a, a perception out there. Y'all, you throw a kid out of a college lift, you're not doing that for cameras. You're doing that because that's important to you. That's one of the details that you're honing in on. And some people are like, why are you throwing him out for, for the wrong socks? Big deal. Go tell him to change his socks and come back. Y'all, this is actually impressive to me about Deion Sanders. This to me tells me that he gets the process and the details and the standard that it takes to win football games. Now, obviously, I've never been a head college football coach, but I would tell you this, I've been around him, and Matt Rule was the exact same way. And Matt Rule took Baylor from ground zero to playing for a Sugar Bowl. If I can't trust you to wear the right socks in a team lift, something that has nothing to do with the weather, nothing to do with your attitude, just has to come down to are you disciplined enough, do you care enough to do what I'm asking of you? If you can't wear the right socks during a team lift, I can't trust you to run the right route on fourth and two to win the game. Right? It's as simple as that. It's like some karate kid kind of stuff. You got to do the monotonous to eventually do the flashy things on the field. Coach Prime, according to this situation, seems pretty concerned with the monotonous, which I appreciate and I think is going to bode well. Make sure you're subscribed to this Twitter, to, to me on Twitter, but make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because we talk ball here every single day. And we love y'all for tuning in. So make sure you're locked in there. Again, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at J.D. Paquel. Now, here's what I was going to say about Coach Prime. Relentless with the details. As I said before, Coach Matt Rule, the exact same way. You're going to have to earn every single thing you get within that locker room, within that program, if you will. One other example of that, they're not giving them jersey numbers until you earn it. Saying, if you, you want to be a part of this, you want to wear the, the jersey, you want to wear the helmet, you want to be a college football player here at Colorado, you got to earn it. And I love that. The reason why I love that is because it, it tells me that this is not going to be a program where you just show up and you're, you're on the team. You're, you just show up and things happen for you. Again, some of that is perception with Deion Sanders because he went to Jackson State, flipped that thing around, put a lot of money into that program, it sounds like, which it sounds like it needed and he blessed them. But at Colorado, it's like, hey, man, we won one game. You haven't earned anything. You haven't earned anything. I want to make you earn everything here. You earn it in practice, a jersey number, you're eventually going to have the right wiring and processing internally within your team to understand you have to earn what happens on the field. He has another quote where he's talking during a practice, and there's a lot of good content out there, sort of behind the scenes with Colorado football, and a player comes out with a back plate. Deion Sanders is like, we, we won one game last year. We want to look good. No, you haven't earned that. You haven't earned any of this. That's exciting to me. To put it all simply for you, I believe that Deion Sanders is what Colorado football needs. Now, what Deion Sanders is bringing to the table may not be what every program needs. Like, I don't know if Deion Sanders walks into, let's just use Texas, for example. I don't think they need to have the Deion Sanders approach. But Colorado, I mean, you win one game, you are in need of structure. You are in need of discipline. You are in need of direction. And Coach Prime is saying, we're going to dress a certain way. You're going to earn everything you get. And we're going to make sure we earn whatever we get here from a jersey number to wins on the field. That excites me. Now, will it translate in year one? I don't know. We're going to see. We're not calling our shot here in Colorado just yet. Like I said, there's a lot of contingencies 
one of the big ones being what does Shadour Sanders do for you at quarterback. But in terms of the coaching style, the structure, the discipline, the direction, I think he's training this team the right way. So I'm excited to see how it translates. But behind closed doors, the little that we are getting to see with Coach Prime, I think it shows a lot of promise. So that's how we feel about Colorado, but we'll keep an eye on Coach Prime. We'll talk more about spring ball as they get more and more into it. I promise you there will be no shortage of storylines when it comes to what they're bringing to the table. But nonetheless, excited to see what goes on there in Colorado. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.